Vendors on Awaki say they're feeling the pinch of increasing food prices in recent months, which is tremendously impacting business. In fact, these vendors express seeing basic food items increase in price. I've seen mayo increase from $30 a case to almost $60 a case. Something as simple as oil for the fryer. Thirty dollars is now sixty dollars. So these these prices are almost double. And for the major items like protein, I use a lot of seafood, so shrimp or salmon. We have seen the price almost double or triple in some cases. So it really uh, affecting the profit margins. It's very slim. Even though we try to put a little increase in the prices, and because of that, business went down. You know, people don't realize you know that prices went up in the food stalls as well as in other places. But when we try to go up on our food out there, it seems like if it's a problem. That said, some business owners have been forced to become super efficient or get creative in an effort to offset some of the price hikes. What I do personally is try to locate the most cheapest, um, you know, persons who are selling items the cheapest. And I'm not trying to knock anyone, but Going wholesale is not always the best, baby. The biggest thing right now is wastage, and then if you wanna, if you if you wanna, you gotta keep on your staff and making sure because you know they don't go to the stores, they don't go to BFS or any other company to purchase anything. So a lot of times they don't pay attention. They ain't throwing away a half a sweet pepper or this or that. It's okay. Throwing away an onion is okay, you know, but they don't know a lot of a cost factor in it or throwing, you know, throwing around the utensils that are to go products and stuff like wasting those, all of those are costs in your business. Now the 2022-2023 fiscal budget contains tariff cuts for roughly three dozen food items. However, this vendor says she's not seeing a reflection in pricing in the stores. The pricing is just going up and up, so I'm trying to understand how if the government is trying to provide relief to the citizens, why are the business establishment not providing some relief to us? It's like whatever discounts they're getting with the duty, they're just taking it for them themselves. Now they're talking about, oh, because minimum wage went up and all of these things, it's like we cannot get any relief. And on top of price hikes, some vendors express that operational costs are becoming increasingly higher as well. One of the biggest challenges definitely for, I would say, vendors on the beach side of Awaki is that we don't have running access to running water we don't have access to electricity so what we have i pay about 30 dollars a day or more on gas that's 120 dollars a week you times that by by four that is what i'm paying just to have access to electricity the, the, the tell you to a generator you really lose a lot out on it because if you look at it when you have to spend at least about almost 15 to 20 dollars a day to buy in generator so that's a big loss you know and with the prices of gas being increased it's like Everything has just gone down, so if the government can do something about it, like giving us electricity. But for Hamish Moxie, the owner of Gone Fishing, he says he's found a way to significantly cut costs in that regard. You know, I remember when I was spending $1,150 a month for gasoline before the price went up on gas. Running generators, I buy the bullet and I go on fully solar. You know, so that's the difference. Um, it's a high cost in the beginning, you know, but... At this time now, with no sun out for two days almost and all that, you might have to run your generator just to help bring your batteries up, but then it's no, it's no heavy cost at the end of the day for you. So Earlier this month, Prime Minister Philip Davis announced temporary price control measures to alleviate mounting global inflation, adding that 38 items would be affected. This has received major pushback from local grocers, who argued that the move would be detrimental to the local food wholesale and retail industry. Business owners and consumers alike are also left to deal with high gas prices, an upcoming increase in electricity bills, and some experts say a recession is expected to take place in the United States as early as next year, which some believe could cause a major contraction in economic activity. Leah Cooper, Eyewitness News.